Hey boys, welcome back to some more Steve Smith career mode, the redemption story. And uh, we finished with the um, T20 series against New Zealand, but we're going straight into some more shorter format action. It's the 50 over stuff. And the good thing is, as we look at the teams here, New Zealand looks pretty strong. And then our team, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty full strength. Um, you know, not, not too many changes I'd make it it's obviously fairly different to the you know real life ODI team at the moment but it is a pretty full strength lineup can't can't complain too much but what was I gonna say oh yeah I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna say I'm pretty sure that they did fix the 50 over portion of this game because you probably as we look at our career average close to 50 strike rate almost 100 very good 50 over stats right there for steve smith excellent excellent uh as we start off with just a beautiful pull shot jimmy nisham just sort of trundling in here he did pick up a big first wicket but uh yeah that's uh that's a nice pace to work with short stuff on the hip just uh, placing it beautifully. But I'm pretty sure Big Ant did fix the 50 over stuff. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm pretty sure most people do. But my spin ball and cream mode, that sort of turned me off playing the spin ball and cream mode for a while. Because I was doing some 50 over stuff and it was just, it was ridiculous. Like the AI, your batting team's AI and then the opposition AI, they would always chase down. Like they would chase down like 300 runs in 30 overs. They chased down 40, 400 runs and <laughs> they would always go at like at least 10 and over chasing and just ridiculous. You, you couldn't defend a total. So I'm pretty sure they they fixed it. Uh, so, I mean, that's good. You know, a bit late, honestly. Like, I, I don't really know how it took that long to, to sort of get fixed or get noticed even. But, you know, at least it got fixed. Uh, that is a beautifully... That's a beautiful little flick off the pads there. Is uh, Sodi coming in to the attack? The spinners definitely caused us some issue in uh, in some of the T20 matches. So hopefully, you know, we we have a little bit more time to you know defend and just work them around. We can definitely sort of attack the pace bowlers a little bit more. And the good thing is about New Zealand, they do have two spinners. Obviously, Sodi and Santon are playing in these matches, but. They do have a lot of paces, obviously Milne, Southie, and uh, Henry, I think the the main front line is, and then Nisham is the all-rounder, so they got, they got four pace attackers this one. It was a little bit, it was still slow from Nisham, but uh, he directed it just a little bit better. It was more at the, at the, the shoulder, at the helmet almost. And they have a man at 45. He almost, he almost took a catch. This one is just a full toss on the on the stumps, and we're just gonna flick it away for a nice boundary, easy as you like. So Nisham getting a little bit a little bit expensive. He almost, but yeah, like I said, the the man at 45, maybe a little bit of a plan. Um, is this one? He's just gonna go across us and uh, a leading edge. Thankfully, again, they had the man in place. A little bit unlucky from. Uh, from the New Zealanders, but we'll take we'll take the luck for sure. As a nice little drive for a single. But uh, yeah, I don't know the the the, the plan from the uh, Southie as well now coming around the wicket, attacking the body. I personally I, I wouldn't I don't know I wouldn't do that against Smith because uh, he's a guy that loves the onside. He does. I mean he already shuffles across the crease to you know, to cover the stumps and get to the onside. And then this type of bowling, I mean, just gifting runs, really. South, he's just, he's just putting it up on a platter. Um, yeah, obviously a plan, but I don't think, uh, I don't think it's the, the wisest idea. It's just a beautiful cover drive. They have a man out there, but he's not going to be able to get to it. So three fours on the trot here. That was, that's probably the best of the day. Right there, that was on the up, beautifully placed. They have a man sort of covering all bases and uh, just placed it, hit it, hit it, well, timed it well enough just to race across. So we move on 
to 33 here. Make that 34 with a quick single. Myself and David Warner, once again, the uh, the uh, reunited, reunited, <coughs> excuse me, I don't think that's a word, but uh, the bad boys getting reunited and uh, putting on some decent partnerships in this career mode already. So uh, yeah, already the 50 partnership, which is good to see. It was a it was a fairly early wicket for Aaron Aaron Finch didn't uh, didn't do too much with the bat so gave us a good chance I mean it was like forty runs which <clears throat> you know it's not it's not the worst coming in I think as the number three batter you know you want your openers to to get as much as they can but <clears throat> probably in most number threes back of their head they are they're wanting to get out there you know. Probably not first couple of overs is right here. We almost run ourselves out. I, I forgot that the man was there and I thought it was just an easy single or potentially a boundary. Just one day out of the crease and a direct hit. We were we were gone. Uh, that's actually, I, I forgot, the, the one person New Zealand are missing here is uh, Trent Bolt. I actually don't know why he's not in the, in the team, but because, <clears throat> I mean, Trent Bolt is probably, I mean, easily New Zealand's best bowler. Uh, yeah, quality, quality bowler who can crank it up and also swing it. So, yeah, very dangerous. As that's a, that is a lovely back foot drive through point for a boundary. 42 now. This is turning into quite an impressive innings. David Warner also approaching a 50. Uh, there's a <clears throat> full toss here. It was a bit quicker than I was expecting. They're going to go up for the appeal. It actually... <laughs> I was a little bit worried. It was uh, it was trailing in. I think they're gonna go for the challenge. So I was I was a bit uh, I was a bit nervous at this point. Check for a legal delivery, which it is, and uh, it does hit us on the full. I'm pretty sure. So impact is not gonna be an issue. Actually, no, it does bounce. Thankfully, it does just bounce. We got. We got well across, probably should be playing that more straight down the ground. It looks like it's hit us just outside the line of off stump, so I don't think we are going to be given out. Maybe even a ledge, no, it's missed the bat, but you'll see here, pitched outside off, hit us outside off, and uh, the wickets would have been umpire's call regardless, so we survive, thankfully. I don't know how the wickets there. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess <laughs> it's would have been it would have been a harsh call, but I actually don't. What was I talking about before? <laughs> this always happens. I've got like a little topic I'm talking about. Is that is a, just a, a elegant shot? I thought for a second there the field was going to get to it, but it was a, it was a nice shot down the ground for four. What was I talking about? I know I was talking about like the opening partnership of uh, well Finch getting out. We're on like 40. I don't know, dude. <laughs> Just, it's gone blank. I don't know if I was even talking about anything too important, but uh, it's been a great innings. That is beautiful. Uh, I thought it was four off the bat. It was actually good fielding from the, from the man in the deep. We're going to scamper back for a couple off the bat. I thought, yeah, that's, uh, that's a boundary. So 48, I thought it was our 50, not to be. So our Milne here is going to continue. Myself and Warner both approaching the 50s, which, uh, you know, put us in, putting us in for a, for a mammoth score here. 114 into the 16th over. It's a very good platform for our middle to, well, middle order really to, to play fairly uh, extravagant. As that is, uh, it's a missed opportunity, but, you know, it was, uh, it was quick. It was quick. Yeah. <laughs> you can definitely tell with the increase in pace, like even that 130 Ks, you know, Yorker length, um, it's, uh, it's a fast, it's a fast delivery, sand that comes in here, it was just, it was out there, I was, <laughs> that's a, that's a ball you can easily get yourself out on, so I was, I was patient, just let it go for a wide, it felt good to, uh, to show some restraint, as this one just gonna flick away, beat the man at square leg, gonna pick up an easy two, and that is gonna be a half century, in this first ODI game, which uh, puts us in good stead, you know, finding form early, 50 off 37 deliveries, very good strike rate, you know, that's that's a solid T20, 50, let alone 50, 50 over innings, so got to be happy with that, and uh, yeah, scoring, scoring a decent uh, knock in the first game of series, 
you know, it just relieves pressure. It gets the confidence sky high. Usually when a player scores well in the first game of any series, like they they more often than not continue the form as uh, right here. Another one of those weird just <laughs> ones that just go for four off the middle of the bat, basically. Very strange, but uh, Adam Milne continuing, and he's going to pick up the big wicket. It was quick. It was short. It was the outside off. I, you know, I went for it. I can't be disappointed with the with the attempt of the shot. You know, it was there to be hit. We just we just failed to uh, to connect and. Unfortunately, there's the uh, there's the breakthrough. That's what can happen when you play on the hardest difficulty. It just uh, edges do happen with um, you know decent delivery. It was quick, you know, it was short outside off, and uh, that cut shot is always a it was a, it's a risky shot. Um, you know, looking back, we probably should have just been a little bit more a little bit more um, wary of it. Is uh, a couple of wickets fell like pretty suddenly, so we're not going to get a massive score. But it looks like we are going to win. As you see, they don't actually chase the score in like 30 overs, which is nice. So, yeah, a much more realistic 50 over as uh, we see here. Warner got out for 47. Matty Wade, Travis Head both picking up 50s and then uh, a couple of 50s. So, no one went on to a big score, but a lot of contributions, which uh, were handy. Paddy Cummins, 3 for Got tapped around, but he got the wicket. So, you know, fair play. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.